Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, and we just had the Taurus New Moon. So, sorry about last month, guys, but uh, it shifted really, really pounding on me. I know everybody's going through it, but last month was kind of tough for me. I barely got out May, so this is going to be for the rest of May, okay? This is Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. I hope everybody's doing well. Like I said, I know the uh, waves have been... Heavy, heavy duty on everybody, so whatever is coming up needs to come up so you can get rid of it, so you can release it, okay? Don't get too frustrated, especially Taurus. It's your time right now. I don't read cards in reverse. So, and that's that. One more time. Into the shuffle one more time. All right. Let's, uh, Get this rolling. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, let's see where you're at right now. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. Somebody wanting to be a player? Somebody wanting to be a in and out kind of guy or girl not having to mess with the relationship right now or you're in a relationship and you're not being faithful could be either one okay your challenge is the king of pentacles and for a taurus that's amazing um because this is taurus energy Looks like you got to get out of your own way. That's what I'm, what I'm feeling there. Looks like Taurus has to get out of it. So get out of there, get out of your own way. Let things happen. Let things happen naturally. You're, that's what that Knight of Wands means. Is you're trying too hard on something because in your distant past. With the two of wands which in a relationship means a choice between two or a possible possible choice between two things or you're waiting for your ships to come in in either way uh love or money whatever whatever uh you're waiting on or you were waiting for should have come to fruition by now um like I said, this is for the rest of the month of May. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Not all reads are for everybody. That's why we have so many different channels to choose from. We put titles on them so if it resonates, that's when you click on it. Okay. And at this moment in time, or I... In the most recent past, you got the Empress, and Empress energy is being in your own power, or a possible pregnancy, or an idea that needs to be birthed. So take that how it resonates with your situation, with whatever question you're asking. Okay. 
I don't pretend to know what questions you're asking because we're not talking back and forth. So, I give you the translations as I, as I feel them. And I'm speaking for the whole collective of Tauruses right now. This might only resonate with a few. Okay, my best possible outcome. What is that? Okay. Got the Queen of Swords. Gemma, Gem, more than likely a Libra. If it's if it's a, a person that's gonna come in your life and sort you out. Uh, very practical. I'm sorry about the helicopters. They're every day now, all day, so I can't do anything about that. And I'm not sitting with my windows closed. Okay. Um, yeah, your best possible outcome is, like I said, possibly a Libra. Um, older woman. Um, older female. That kind of cuts to the chase. Plays no bull. Alright. Then what would we got? What we got in your immediate future here? I sound like I'm tired. I am. Didn't sleep too good last night. Lots of weird energy around these days. Okay, in your immediate future, it looks like you're you're moving away from something and you're not looking back. Could be going on a trip over water. But whatever the situation is, you notice in these cards, there's nobody turning around. And they are leaving. Okay? That's the immediate future. Factors affecting the situation. Queen of Cups. Again. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you, it looks like you might be dealing with two people here. Uh, Libra. Cancer's, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is whatever's affecting this situation. Is the Queen of Cups. Which is somebody who's very loving, kind, generous, and supportive, and all that good stuff. And somebody you can count on. Just like the Queen of Swords. Only the Queen of Swords doesn't come with a hug. The Queen of Cups does. Okay. So, Taurus, you could be dealing with two different people. That's what I'm seeing. And you need to get out of your own way. And just let things happen naturally. That's what I'm seeing so far. This could be friends, family. This doesn't have to be a lover situation. But if it is, get out of your own way. And I pulled... <laughs> wow, you got the king and the queen. You are getting so many court cards. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the outside influences. Also, has the same energy as this, which is, is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is Libra, Libra energy, and it comes with no fooling. Cuts to the chase, it gets to the truth, and it don't mess around. This energy here, okay? So if you're dealing with the Libra, then you need to get out of your own way and let things unfold naturally, okay? Because that's your best possible outcome. The Queen of Cups is what's affecting the situation. And your hopes and fears is a new beginning. Um, 
as fast as you can get it. Alright, that's Ace of Wands. That's probably what this is all about, is getting away from the situation for a while. So you can work it out in your head, so you can get that new beginning as fast as you can. Let's see what the final outcome is going to be on this. And we got the Knight of Cups. Cancer's Pisces Scorpio. That's going to be the final outcome. Looks like that might end up being your choice. Because your all around energy right now is the Five of Pentacles. Feeling like you're a little bit uh, abandoned, left out in the cold. But it doesn't look like it's going to be that way for long. Like I said, that this is for the rest of the month of May. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Looks like you're going to have a choice between two people. And it looks like you might choose the Cancer Pisces Scorpio over the Libra. But that's your call. You know, that's free will. You got the choice to choose whatever you like. Okay, I'm going to do some Ascension deck and some other, I got three other decks and uh, we'll go, we'll go, because we're going through this Ascension and these cards are kind of important right now for everybody to hear because some people don't understand what's going on and with the planets being lined up the way they are. Everything in retrograde right now. We got Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, which doesn't happen all at the same time usually. Um, and Pluto is, is is death, sex, rebirth. Uh, Saturn is your karma, justice, and Jupiter is your spirituality. And all those planets are in retrograde right now, so if you're feeling a little distant and cut off, that's why. I'm going to do a uni spread, which is uh, reality beyond appearances, spirits, advice. Sorry, I'm still trying to talk. Um, reality beyond appearances, spiritual advice, and a final outcome, okay? Okay. Reality beyond appearances is illusion, but it's a 10. So you're coming out of the illusion. So, but you see, what you think is a big deal is just this little bitty tiny rain cloud here. It's not, it's not real. Okay. You can get spirit's advice for that. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Whoa, wow. All right, well, you got a whole bunch of cards from Spirit's Advice. It's time for a death and rebirth. Feeling a little bit isolated? You need to come out of this energy. That's Spirit's Advice. Go within, get your wisdom. So you know what to do next. Wow, you got community. So maybe this has something to do with a community thing or um, a group of people. All right. And then you got the best card in the deck for Spirit's Advice. Follow your, follow your happy. Follow what makes you feel good. Follow what makes you feel like that picture right there. That's spirit's advice. It's time for you to change. For a group of people. 
Go within, get your wisdom. You may need to isolate for a while. If not, then it's the opposite. If you've been isolating for a while, you need to come out of that. Okay? That can go either way. Because some people over-isolate. Especially these days. Alright, your final outcome is the chariot. That's a cancer card. So you could be dealing with a cancer. And this is victory over whatever the situation is. Okay. It's been a battle. But it's a victory. And under that you have illumination. Which means that you got to the bottom of things. Figured out how you felt. Always go with your gut. It, it, it doesn't lie. Your brain screws with you all the time. Uh, but your gut knows how you feel. And if it feels good, it'll feel good. If it doesn't feel good, it's not going to feel good. Okay? Let's go with some advice. We'll start with the angel oracle. Then we'll go to Romance Angels and the Hidden Realms, okay? Says reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately. Could be to all those people. And it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a constantly high level. And on the bottom of that you have have confidence. Making forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Along with, know, with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy your courage and faith. And under that you got notice the signs. So... It will point you in the right direction. Romance Angels, I pulled three from this deck. A crown and two from the Hidden Realms and a crown. So I'll try to get as much clarity as I can for you guys. just jumped out love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so if this is a choice between two spirit is telling you to love yourself first make sure that you're in the right state of mind 
before you go embarking upon a romantic quest. Because you must love you to love anyone else. Alright, we have two more. Three more. Four, uh, four actually popped out. We got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you got a lot of passion with this. Whatever's going on. And it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Energy of all. I'm sorry. It's first one, first thing in the morning. I'm a little bit just kind of getting going, okay? <laughs> okay, so it is safe for you to love. Because there are romantic feelings and your romantic feelings are worth exploring. So, that goes for whoever you're dealing with. And it says time to... Uh, there's the reason for the isolation card. It says time to retreat and disconnect from the world. Because you need to explore these romantic feelings that you're having. In order to make the right decision. Okay? We got the Hidden Realms. Now these cards are the Hidden Realms. <laughs> they tell you things that you need to be on the lookout for or possibly uh, give you advice in a situation. And in Upright, they're your ally. In Vert, they are Challenge. Okay, I pulled... Two of these in a crown. If more pops out, I'll read them, of course, but usually I'll only pull two of these in a, in a crown. Okay, this is from Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Alright. We got one. We got the dream walker in reverse. Dreams, the collective good, and illusions. So you were back to the illusion and the collective good, which community, basically. In your dreams and aspirations. Okay, two more popped out. You got the chess queen, which is trust and strategizing in reverse. So that tells me that you're not trusting in something. And then you got the cosmos, which is creativity and vastness. And that is just a one-way card. There's no ally that's always an ally and a challenger. Okay. I'm just going to read these three since uh, they all three popped out, okay? The Dream Walker. Okay, it came out as a challenge, so let's see what it says. The dream walker challenges you to wake up from your restless sleep in which you're not dreaming at all. This is the time to remind yourself of your passions and the aspirations you have left may have left behind. Perhaps you should reconsider and allow your, yourself your precious dreams again. Don't give them up. There's always a way that they can return to you as long as you don't try to dictate the forms they take. Another way the dream walker challenges you is when you're in the middle of a nightmare brought on to you on by you or by others. Wake up and don't struggle. 
for she reminds you that the divine will lead you out of this bad dream and into a much better one. This too shall pass. Be mindful that you have a unique and special purpose. You're always actively influencing your reality through your thoughts and reactions to life ch life's challenges. Okay. You got the chest queen in reverse. Is the card. When the chest queen arrives as a challenge, you when sorry, like I said, first read, I'm just kind of opening my eyes and getting going. When the chest queen arrives to challenge you, it simply means that you're living too much in your head, planning, scheming, and strategizing what your future will look like and how and when it will unfold. Remember the saying, man's plans and God man plans and God laughs. You cannot know the power and beauty that is meant for you until you let go and ask for divine guidance. The laws of cause and effect apply here. Don't dictate what you want as you as your wants may not be may not, may be not in your highest good. Wow. Ask instead, ask instead for the miracles set aside for you and you alone. What does spirit want for you? Perhaps it's time to let go and turn your life over to care of a higher power. You can never lose when the spirit plays the game of life on your behalf. Okay. And you got the cosmos. Like I said, it's a dual card. It's always an ally. The cosmos appears always as an ally and never as a challenger. Creativity in all forms is represented by the cosmos. This is a sign to place your attention on creative projects. They will be successful. Remember that all of life is creative and you're always co-creating with the divine. The cosmos also represents the principle of infinity and the vastness of energetic exchange of consciousness influencing all living things. This teaches us that every intention we set, in fact, contagious with the power to influence others. We, we're entangled at our deepest energetic place, so we can't help but have an effect on others from the individual level to a global one. This is a sign to remind you to open up, open up to the well of creativity deep within you and be mindful of your thoughts and actions. Both are influencing your outer world. Most important, keep taking action towards your goals as the cosmos responds perfectly to manifest your highest destiny. Expect to be inspired and to meaningfully touch others with all that you create. Good way to good way to top that off, Taurus. I wish you luck. And that was your read for the rest of May, and I will see you in June. You guys have a great month. Bye.